everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make posing a lot easier by adding IK targets to your Sims rig. But first, if this is your first video on how to create posts for The Sims 4, I recommend watching my other tutorials first, just because it will be easier for you to understand this one. I will leave the playlist for that in the description box. Now back to the tutorial. You know how moving the sim's arms or legs can be somewhat annoying because you need to select so many different points to move the joint. But what the IK target does is you only need to select one point to move let's say the whole arm like this. So first let's add the IK target to the hand. As you can see when you select the hand and try to move it, it doesn't quite work. So, to make it move, make sure the hand point is selected and then click on the bone constraints icon. From here, click on add bone constraint. Then select inverse kinematics. Here you need to change the chain length from 0 to 3 and now the whole arm moves. I know some people like having the chain length on 4, so the shoulder moves as well. So it's really a personal preference, but personally I like it on 3. You can do the same thing for the other hand as well. Select the hand point, click on add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, chain length from 0 to 3. Do the same thing for the legs as well. Select the foot point. Again, click on add bone constraint. Inverse kinematics. Chain length to 3. And now you can move the leg as well. Do this for the other leg as well. I also like adding IK targets to the fingers as well. For this select the index point. Click on add bone constraint, inverse kinematics and chain length to 3. You can also lower the influence setting here so the finger moves more smoothly like this. And do the same thing on all the fingers. And that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and if you want to see more tutorials from me don't forget to subscribe and maybe give this video a like as well. It helps me out a lot. And if you have any other tutorials you'd like me to make let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!